hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are having a fantastic day morning afternoon nights wherever you're watching me from so this video is about women that have chosen not to have kids i had made a video on this topic before but this time around this has to do with um dr jordan peterson b peterson if you don't know him he's a professor in harvard university if i'm not mistaken and he's also a clinical psychologist he gives his two cents a lot to societal issues to relationship issues and more he has a podcast and he also has a, um, a channel on youtube yeah he's well known he's well known so he said something about women that have chosen not to give birth. he called them delusional and immature if i'm not mistaken here's the clip you want to have a relationship with someone? You want someone around you can trust? You want someone around you can tie your life to in, in this way that weaves a rope? You want someone you can grow old with? You want someone to be a mother for your children, assuming you want children? And if, if you don't want children, well, you probably will. And if you don't, you're either deluded or immature. And you might say, well, no, the planet has too many people on. It's like, yeah, whatever. Good luck with that. Every single one of your ancestors reproduced in an unending procession lasting three and a half billion years. And they're all wrong and you're right. I don't think so. Okay, you could see that he had to take it back to the ancestral time. He said, every of your ancestors reproduced. So this is him saying that as a woman, I, I mentioned this before in the video I made about child free by choice. He's saying that as a, as a, um, a female, it's your responsibility to give birth. As long as you're a female, you're expected by the society to give birth. And that is what he believes in. So he's making it seem as though all, all the females in the past, the time of our ancestors all give birth. It's compulsory. If you've decided not to give birth, you are delusional or immature that wasn't all that he said hold on i'm going to play people's reaction later but i just want us to watch all the clip what all he had to say about um women and people not giving birth that wasn't all he said he also spoke about how women have been deceived lied he used the word lied they've been lied to and he said they told them not to they, they should believe more in their career it's more of the career and then when they hit 30 you would notice that they will start reconsidering i don't want to misquote him you know what let's watch the video first time ever since records began 50.1 percent of women are childless by 30 so there are more women without children at 30 than there are women with children one of my podcasts i believe it was i was talking about what our society does to 19 year old women we just lie to them all the time you know, the first lie is there's nothing more important than your career, more or less by definition. That's the first lie. The second lie is there will be nothing more important to you in your life than your career. And then the third lie is there should be nothing more important in your life than the, your career. So that's the third lie. Implicit in that is the idea that children are a burden and that who are men to tell me what I can do with my body. Hey, fair enough. What I've seen is that as women progress towards their late 20s, there's a psychological transformation. And what happens is that they place less emphasis on their career and way more emphasis, particularly on having a child. And I've seen it very dramatically with many women. Okay. So he's saying that telling a woman to focus on her career is a lie. And he said that they start telling women these lies or this lie when they are 19 years of old um, of age when they are 19 years of age and then when they hit 30 or when they're approaching 30 they begin to reconsider their decision a lot of women reacted to this they were not happy with what he said um you know what let's play this particular one you know the first lie is there's nothing more important than your career more okay so the part that i don't understand let's just assume everything that he's saying is true which it's not but let's just assume that everything he is saying is true. What makes him or the two of them think that just because lies are potentially being told to women, that women are believing those lies? Women have brains. We have thoughts. We can decide things for ourselves. I think it's that age old thing that when you think of something as property, as men like to do for women, they forget that we have all kinds of thoughts for ourselves and can realize and know when somebody is telling us a lie. They're also ignoring the fact that our society is not kind to people with children. I get her point here. She's right. 
one thing is for someone to tell you a lie another thing is for you to run with a lie accept the lie and leave the lie women has women have brain yeah god has created every individual i believe in god so that's why i'm saying god god created every individual and gave everyone the ability to reason for themselves except those who that have illness and all that okay so women are being told that at 19 it's up to them to decide whether to believe it or not but he made it seem as though oh they told them the lies and they're living the lies without even thinking twice without even batting an eyelid they just took lies and that's it they're running with the lies and this is what i have to say every woman has the ability to, to reason for themselves if they're not sick if they're competent enough fine they should be able to reason for themselves and i think people's reasoning and decision is being influenced by what is going on in the society currently there's hardship there's hike in food price rent rent price and more people are suffering and no one is talking about it i think the focus should be how can we make the life bearable for the people already living on the planet before bringing more people onto the planet this is what my own thought how can we make the okay the question here is this now why are people not giving birth as they used to give birth before they should ask that one question then the next thing should be how do we make life easier for these people if our goal our focus is to enable them give birth if our focus is to make them give birth i tell you there's a lot of reasons why we don't want to give birth one finances secondly the, the partners if you can get the financial part right and make it easier for people to have more money and attain financial stability then you would solve part of the problem the second problem has to do with the partners the men involved the men are not being um they're not being helpful they're not they're not assisting in, in um, child upbringing and all that anyways let's hear what this lady has to say 50.1 percent of women are childless by 30. please go watch that video because there's just something hilarious about men trying to explain why women feel the way they do. So in the video they talk about at the age of 30, there's more women that don't have children than women that do. And they say it's because of our careers, that they've put too much pressure on us to handle our careers. And so we're choosing not to have children until later. I'm not saying that careers did not go into account, but for you men, just in case you want to know, here's a laundry list of many other reasons why women don't have children. Number one, they don't want them. I have a son, I love him, but it makes complete sense to me why some other women don't want to deal with that. Number two, children are expensive. My daycare is more than my rent. It's basically like me paying for two houses and I'm a single mom. But the biggest reason, have you met men in their 20s? So few of them are prepared to be fathers that many of us just don't even want to take the chance. That's the point. Men are not ready to be fathers. Men, men are not ready fine they can say okay i have the ability to be a father i want to be a father but are you ready to take on the responsibility are you ready to be there when push comes to shove that's the question are you ready because it's not easy it's not about the whole process and having the baby out no it's more than that are you ready to be a real father men are not ready to do that like i said you can you can tackle the financial um, aspect but that alone is not going to solve all the problem. But that is going to help people that have good partners, but they don't have the but don't have the finances. That would go a long way. The other part we have um, men that are not ready to be real fathers, and also let's not forget some people just don't want to. Like without any reason, they don't want to. That's what they they just don't want to. So is this professor saying that in the past, in time past, in the ancestral days? Is he trying to say that we, they didn't have any female, any female that decided not to have pet? Is he trying to say that all females gave pet, all females reproduced? I don't think so. Some, I'm, I believe, I strongly believe that they had some females that didn't give pet due to one illness or the other, or due to reasons best known to them. I feel so. I feel so i know those days it was more difficult for a woman to decide not to give birth if she's um okay like if she has the ability to give and give birth and she decides not to give birth of course we know the societal pressure and how closely knitted the community used to be 
in those days so people can easily be in your business and when people talk about it, you can easily hear it i know these days the world is global you can decide to move from one country to another just to block up the noise and live your life peacefully i understand it it was way more difficult those days for one to be child free by choice compared to these days i think he just i don't want to say all that but i just don't agree with what he said 100 percent, i don't agree with what he said so let's hear what this lady has to do with financial stability status in the u.s you're probably an american watching this that has a job and let's say you make whatever dollar amount you make but you don't feel financially secure you need to take a second and think about what that dollar amount would have to be for you to feel financially secure right now. Oh wait, $233,000 on average is what Bankrate found that people need to make to feel financially secure right now. The median income in the US is $71,000. So essentially you would have to make $71,000 three times over to even feel financially secure. Now, obviously everyone has different expenses and taxes are done different and the price of living is different depending on where you live in the US. And the survey that they did was based on making sure that you can cover your bills and essentials and then have enough left over to do a fun thing every now and then. So. If you are somebody that doesn't make that much money, do you feel like that would be enough? And maybe if you are somebody who does make that much money, do you feel like that's enough? I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't 233,000. I'll tell you that much. Okay, I'm pretty sure you've heard from how you can go out there to do your own research and be sure. I just couldn't pull up um, numbers and statistics and all that. So you could just go out there to double check and see what the um financial news is saying about finance in the u.s and also wherever you find yourself let's go back and talk about the statement the doctor made it sounds more like the world is patriarchal globally like every every, every country has the same system a system that favors just men alone men alone and it's like the duty of a woman is to come to this world and give birth and that's all they should do and that's all they know they are known for but the good thing here is this the world has changed the world has evolved the way things used to be back in the days for women has changed drastically women now have their voice women now have the ability to speak up for themselves because if you take it back to the olden days most women were subdued and they could not speak they just had to do what the society wanted them to do because men were the ones dominating and are still dominating don't get me wrong you get so just imagine a society where you have men at the hems of affairs men are the ones dominating making rules and everything what makes you think the, the man would consider you when, when they are on the um where, when they're having a meeting when they are um amongst the when he's amongst the board of trustees and they're trying to deliberate on how the society would run what makes you think they would think about you as a woman they would think about the men first they would put in place things that would favor them first and i guess that's how the society had has been in time past so things were made things were done just to favor the men and then the women were being seen as a baby making factory all they all they are known for is to come to this world give birth get married and give birth nothing more the, nobody thinks about their their dreams and aspirations i'm totally against su such system i don't subscribe to that let me know your thoughts in the comment section and i will see you guys in the next one i believe god created everyone equally i believe god want everyone to succeed and everyone to live their life to the fullest this is my own belief let me know your, let me know your thoughts let me know yours please go to the comment and let's continue the, the conversation there thanks for watching bye